uh we'll just press recording now it's fine so um let's just kind of go over here again i just want to reiterate okay this person right here was not a covid hire all right a lot of the times what happens is boom okay covid came around Twitch hires a lot of people because there's a massive influx of users and they want more, you know, mods or security or whatever, right? But then it's after COVID now, right? So now it's kind of like calming down. The viewer count, the activity of Twitch kind of calms down a little bit. They're going to lay some people off. That makes sense. That's perfectly fine. However, it would make sense if they laid off COVID people, but they technically already did that last year. I think last year there was two rounds of layoffs from Twitch. Here we are into 2024. We just get into the brand new year and these people find out, uh, you know, uh, 10, 10, yeah, 10 days, 11. Yeah. Well, no. Yeah. 10 days into 2024 that they're going to lose their job. It's, 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 it's crazy, right? Any, but regardless, so he has been there eight years. That is a major, major factor. Twitch has been losing some of the top, top executives, right? Some of the top executives from Twitch have been leaving. They've either, well, actually they've been leaving. They haven't been fired. They've literally been leaving and they've been some of the top executives at Twitch, okay? Then you got Dan Clancy. Now, Dan Clancy is technically responsible for some of the bad stuff about Twitch. Um, but then again, He's got to try to work on fixing a sinking ship. It's, it's, you know, it's a little bit hard. But regardless, let's get away from him for right now. Um, the fact that he's not a COVID hire is really concerning, okay? Eight years at Twitch, and then you take a look at what he helped build, okay? RLCS, Broadcaster Royale, and the main one here, in my opinion, the absolute ginormous one, Twitch rivals now twitch rivals wasn't absolutely insanely huge on twitch okay it wasn't ginormous but it was big enough to make some impacts and create a bit of a community around twitch rivals so one of the people who was able to help build that program gets laid off that's not very good that's not very good it's considering that he helped build a lot of the you know so to say he's states that he helped build those programs which is really you know really good he did an amazing job there however let's go on to our next individual here rather than cloud fuel let's go on to major giggles major giggles posts here and says no longer with twitch after four years okay after four years again he technically wasn't a covid hire again he's been there four years that's a good amount of time okay but it's what he says next which is very interesting it was a dream working on this type of esports environment and creating bonds with people from the trackmania community english slash uh uh espanol uh minecraft communities everyone who participated in our IRL events and all of the spaces in between until next time. Now, this doesn't really give you a lot of information about, well, what exactly did he do? And if you go look at his profile, eSports competition manager for Twitch rivals. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Twitch rivals. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There's some there's some consistencies between these two people here who got laid off of their jobs at Twitch. They both worked with Twitch rivals. Okay, now they probably did a bunch of other things too, but I want to focus on Twitch rivals because, hey, one man's loss is another man's come up, as they might say. So although they got, you know, they're no longer with Twitch, well, what if they came to kick and did a kick rivals? What do you, what do you, what about that? Do you think that would be really good or do you think that would be really bad? I don't know. But anyways, he did, it seems like he was kind of in charge of Twitch rivals for Rocket League maybe, or, or I don't know, just in general. But the fact that he had to deal with RLCS is also esports, right? Which means that on top of Cloud Fuel working with, uh, you know, esports, Major Giggles did esports competition manager for Twitch Rivals, meaning that not only were they Twitch Rivals, 
They were also part of the esports and organized the esports versions of it. RLCS, esports track mania, right? Kind of mixing of that. That is pretty crazy. That is really, really good. So what if, okay, what if Kick got these two people to come over here and maybe build out a little something like Kick Rivals? Huh? That's my idea. What do you guys think of that idea right there? Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think that could be a good pickup? Uh, because I think it might be actually amazing. Yo, Mike Smalls, welcome back, by the way, brother man. Welcome back, dude. Good to see you again, dude. Good to see you again. Welcome back. Welcome back. So what do you think about that right there? Twitch transitioning into soft court chat. Right? Yeah, true. They were both on Rivals and RLCS. I think these are absolutely huge pickups. If Kit could pick up both of these people, and I'm sure, sadly, sadly to say, I am sure there's probably more people who worked with Twitch Rivals um that's uh you know i'm sure that there's more people who worked with twitch rivals a bit that probably got laid off as well so but if kick could secure both of these people bro a kick rivals would be huge man huge dude like come on talk to me bro let's get track mania going let's get that stuff going however the thing is what's interesting is that that was Twitch Rivals. And you know how Twitch Rivals worked? Twitch Rivals, RLCS, or, or like the Rocket League Rivals, as well as Trackmania, both required pro players. And there was some pro players who were interested. However, they would have to stream on Twitch. Well, what if they came over to Kick? right? What if they came over to Kick? There's not really any pro players for Trackmania. There's not pro players for Rocket Lag. There's nothing like that over here. So you'd have to come up with a different idea on how to kind of approach that, but it still could be really, really good. Um, and then again, if the money is there, they uh, these people might tune into it. They, these people might try it, okay? Virtual might try doing one stream on kick because of rivals. Uh, maybe, like, you know, I don't know. I don't know. If you don't want kick to make, this, make Twitch's mistakes, then don't hire from Twitch. But here's the thing, Twitch's mistakes have to deal a lot with the revenue side of things, not the production, in my opinion. I think Twitch's productions were actually decent. I mean, I think they could have been better, but I think they had a good idea going. So the fact that this was Twitch Rivals, I think Twitch Rivals was a great idea. I think it could have been done a little bit differently, okay, done a little bit differently to make it a little bit better. But regardless, Twitch Rivals was a great thing. It was a great event. It was, it was really well put together, I think, in my opinion. Obviously, again, could be a little bit better, but still not a bad thing. So because of that, I think this is, these are great pickups, right? Again, this wouldn't really be Twitch's mistakes because Twitch Rivals, in my opinion, I don't think was a major mistake. If done properly, again, like even, even more properly than what they were doing, I think it could be even stronger than what it was on Twitch right? Um, I don't see Twitch Rivals as a downside. So that's why I don't see picking up these two individuals right here, for example, would be a bad thing. Because again, I don't view Twitch Rivals as a, as a mistake. I think it was actually a good idea. And that idea could be elevated upon. So I don't know if you would agree with me on that take or not. But, um, but yeah, now if it was individuals who were like, you know, responsible for advertisements or responsible for sponsorship opportunities, stuff like that, then I would be like, okay, well, maybe not. But the fact that these guys are more on the production event side of things, I think these are the kind of people that we need on kick. Because the way I say it is this, right? I wonder if they have a non-compete. Um, they can fight it, okay? They can fight the non-compete. And, um... Uh, they can win it. All right. I will tell you right now. Um, there is there is uh, a, a a Twitch individual that worked at Twitch beforehand, who had a non compete with uh, you know, and they they wanted to come to kick, and they were able to fight it, and they were able to get it dropped uh, pretty easily. So all you had to do is fight it a tiny bit, and uh, it will drop. So yeah, the non compete because I, I I asked about that too. I asked the person who did that. I asked them about it and they were like, yep. They said all, all they got to do is fight it a little bit and it just, it will not hold. 
it will not hold. Uh, so they would be fine. They would be fine to come to kick. So, um, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but like, yeah, when done right, it would build a better community. Here's the thing, okay? The way I explained is this. Shush for a second. The way I explained is this, okay? I think and I truly believe that kick would be absolutely amazing if they did some events, okay? Think of... Think of Kick needing to target outside uh, viewers, outside viewership, all right? So again, the reference that I kind of say is rather than people going from Netflix or being like, oh my God, what am I going to watch? Let me go to Netflix. No, no, no. What if they said, let me go to Kick? Okay, now obviously that's a little ways away. I mean, you're talking, you need applications on everything. You need applications on Roku, Fire Stick, Smart TV. Literally everything you can think of needs an app for kick okay it does and the easier it is to get access to a kick app to watch streams the better it will be for the general public who's not just gameplay or computers or whatever right people who go watch netflix on their tv could rather watching netflix could go watch a live event on kick that's the idea however you need enough events going on you would need events going on like 24 seven, just about in order for that to happen, which starts from zero events, right? Or one event to event, right? Eventually more and more events will go on to the point where you could almost have an event going on 24 seven or a couple events going on 24 seven, all different languages and people will love it. And you know what? You make that event well known that, Hey, if you miss it, don't you worry because if you wanted to, you could come watch the edited VOD on Kick, right? What if there was an edited VOD section on Kick for here's the series of the of the the event show here? If you missed it, boom, you can catch it every every you know three days after the event. Here's the edited version of it if you want to catch it. Again, keeping people coming to Kick rather than posting on YouTube. But again, you could also post it on YouTube if you wanted to. But regardless, posting on on, on Kick would be really cool. Um, but that is very, that is very, um, you gotta be very careful with how you make posting videos, edited videos on kick. You gotta be very careful with that. Uh, but there's, I'm sure there's a way to do it. There's gotta be. Okay. But, um, anyways, yeah, again, that will target the general public. So the whole reason why I'm talking about this is because again, these two people did Twitch rivals. This is a event and it was a pretty decent event, I would say actually. And in fact, let me go to um uh let me let me go pull up this website right here uh called twitchtracker.com. Now this website right here, we can go ahead then and look up Twitch rivals. Now the way that Twitch rivals worked was quite interesting, okay? Because Twitch rivals worked in a manner of watching over other people's streams, okay? It worked with the way of watching over other people's streams. So for example, if I competed in Twitch Rivals, or not Twitch Rivals, Kick Rivals, for example, then they would pull up my live stream rather than casting in the game, right? So that way they, they switch between everybody's perspectives. Now, again, I think there's some better ways to go about it, but regardless, uh, you know, it's it still worked out pretty well. Okay. Now, if we take a look at the past three months here, in the past three months, we got 66.6 hours streamed. Again, not a lot of hours, right? Not a lot of hours, but that's fine. That's three months. 16,000 average viewers, 51,000 uh, uh, peak viewers, right? Really, really good. 10 game stream, meaning that they did 10 events. So they did, um, they did League of Legends, Fork Knife, Minecraft, Call of Duty Warzone, Apex Legends, Valois, uh, PUBG, especially Vents. Don't remember what that one was. Uh, or actually, that one might be that might be DreamHack, actually. Uh, Rust, no. Nah, maybe not, actually. I don't know. Fall Guys, uh, Team Fight Tactics, Rocket Lag. Like, okay, a whole bunch of different things here, right? A whole bunch of different things. <laughs> so based on this, the whole reason why I bring this up is that even though this isn't a ton of hours streamed, this is a good start to getting like a consistent event here. Now, can we take a look in, in the past month here, maybe can we take a look at how many streams there was. Uh, oh, wow. Wait a minute. Uh, okay. So December 15th through December 6th, there was a event for Rust, maybe. 
Yeah, okay. No, yeah, yeah. Russ, uh, 11th through the 15th. A Russ Twitch Rivals, okay? Which average, what? Uh, that just says max viewers. It doesn't tell me my the average viewership. But uh, still, that's perfectly fine. Um, 47, what? No, that's followers. That's followers. Max viewers. Okay, never mind. That was followers. Max viewers, 50K. Russ is ridiculous. Russ is insane. Um, but if we take a look here, Okay. Um, we got uh, you know, a bunch of different things here. Track Mania, right? Track Mania, 2v2 Chase Cup. Uh, I believe I'm pretty sure I watched that or I watched the VOD of it. Summit 1G, I think, was in it, if I'm not mistaken. Um, 13.7k viewers, uh, 8.8k escape from Tarkov. Just chatting. I don't know what that is. Twitch rivals live from TwitchCon Las Vegas, 30k. Um, Twitch Rivals MC Championship, 18.5k. Uh FC 24, right? Uh, 12k like the viewership is pretty darn decent it's pretty decent although even even though in the last month uh they've only had 18.5 hours streamed that's okay like that's fine so i'm very curious to see what the future of twitch rivals is going to be for twitch okay i'm very curious to see what the what the future of Twitch Rivals is going to be. And if if again dude, I said it when when this got announced, if Kit continues in its uh you know, line right now, if Kit continues with what it's been doing or not Kit, uh Twitch, if Twitch continues with what it's been doing, even though Kit has a lot of problems, man, I'm going to tell you Kit has a lot of problems. It's not amazing. There's only one revenue source. There's a lot of chat goes down all the time. There's so many problems. But if Kit can start to get some of this stuff going, okay? They can literally do something similar-ish to like what Twitch did in terms of like production-wise, that was is what I'm saying, but do it better. Okay? But do it better. All right? There, there's so much possibilities here. There is so much possibilities here that I think is amazing. Yo, what up, Adamika? I appreciate it, brother, man. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, my man. Hope you, uh, a great, uh, you have a great year as well, brother, man. That way, Twitch can't complain. Kick uh, Fivals. Yeah, well, yeah. Obviously, if it came to kick, I mean, I, I wouldn't do kick rivals. I would do something, you know, Figure out something else. Kick Rivals would be a little cliche, but uh, obviously Trainwreck's announcing stuff like that. Like, bro, like, come on, man. Let's uh, let's 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 do it, bro. Let's do it, man. Let's let's get something. Let's get something happening. Jakey Bake here, pause, champ, uh, onto Trainwreck's tweet. Like, dude. Um, le like, dude. Let's uh, let's make something happen, man. The fact that Kaylee, uh, uh, Rocket Lag, uh, streamer, Tubbo, um, Nick. Uh, John Sandman as Rocket League, Huskers, uh, Stumpy, uh, Jack Collider, Sizz, which is a Rocket League streamer again, H. June, Jorby, um, I I've heard of them before, but I don't know what they do, Athena, Rocket Lag creator, Five Up. Like, bro, there's so many names that I recognize here. A lot of people are Rocket Lag people who, like, know these people, man. They know them, right? and that's awesome. I was away on vacay for a minute. Glad to be back. Really missed your content. Yo, I appreciate it, brother, man. I, I, I'm, glad, uh, I'm glad to have you back, though. Welcome back, brother, man. Welcome back, dude. Good to see you again. Welcome back to the streams, the daily streams, bro. And uh, you're getting your morning news here on Thursday morning. I got shopping to do. Hey, if you're interested, cooking stream tomorrow, okay? IRL cooking stream tomorrow for anybody watching right now. If you're curious and you want to watch me cook, cooking stream tomorrow baby i think we're starting um let me see let me see what time uh let me see here let me figure out what time was the maybe plan uh okay so uh the goal is to start the cooking yeah, the the idea is to start the cooking at like noon, but I will be live before then, and I will probably be live streaming setting up the kitchen for the cooking stream. 
uh, because I got to set up the kitchen, right? I got to, I got to hook up the laptop, get the laptop set up, cameras set up and stuff like that. So I got to, I got to do some work on that. So I'll probably IRL stream that a little bit tomorrow, setting it up before the cooking. Um, but yeah, we will be doing cooking stream tomorrow. The goal is to start the cooking at noon, but I will be live at 9 a.m. Okay, I'll be live at my normal time, but it's going to be a later stream tomorrow too. It's gonna be it's gonna be a bit late. It's gonna be a, a bit of a longer stream tomorrow. So uh, it should be good though. It should be good. Yep, the IRL cooking meth tomorrow. Uh, no, uh, yeah, I don't think so. I'm not doing that. Let him cook. Yep. Yes, sir. Cooking IRL sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, so for anybody who's interesting lurking or whatever, cooking stream tomorrow starting at noon EST. And it's going for like until like 5 p.m. EST ish or something like that. So we're going to be, it's going to be a lot. Yo, congratulations, brother man. Congratulations, dude. Congratulations to becoming a mod, bro. Congrats, congrats. Congrats, congrats. But like, uh, dude, this is, um, I, I think. I think there's an opportunity here. John Sandman again. Uh, I think there's an opportunity here for, um, uh, you know, for for them to take over. Virtual. You did amazing at Twitch. Super fun to do events together. Much love from all of Trackmania. Like, uh, even Virtual goes out there, you know, and, and, and says something. Like, it's such a there's so many there's there's a lot of opportunities here between these two individuals that i think kit could really really benefit from and uh, again concerning especially how long this guy cloud fuel was there for eight years at twitch is very concerning for the future of twitch very very concerning for the future of twitch it really is whimsy will be fun she's a boss cooking wood wood yeah yeah uh, a collab stream with whimsy she's teaching me how to cook tomorrow and surely i won't make any mistakes um yeah but what we're cooking uh is a secret till tomorrow but uh basically like one of it is like one i gotta buy one lemon and one apple how do you just go to the grocery store and buy one lemon and one apple um like i, I i've never I've never ever seen anyone go buy one of something like that. Like, bro, baking cookies? No. No, I don't think we're doing any dessert things, but you'll see. We're doing like uh we're doing a big meal. Okay, we're doing a big meal. So um yeah, don't don't you worry. We're doing a big meal. So yeah. Man, can't wait till Kick API is out to do funky stuff with it. Bro, kick rivals, obviously rename it. Kick rivals with drops. Forget it. Like, literally forget it, man. If Kick works with Rust, it gets a Kick Rivals event going with Rust and does drops, Kick uh, Rust drops. Bro, forget it, man. Like, that that drops for video games, I think, is a, something that Kick really needs to focus on, right? <clears throat> right? It's just Kick really needs to focus on um kick really needs to focus on uh on like you know getting that stuff man and uh and dr uh drops watch drops i think would be huge man partner with the game work with the game get drops working and bro it'll be it'll be so good for all of kick make sure that those drops are exclusive to kick only though because if they're if they're happening on the same time as twitch just forget about it but um Make him kick exclusive for like a week, bro, and it'll do so good. So good. Rope and a shovel. Um, huh? It's kind of weird, but Wrath, appreciate it. I appreciate the lurk, dude. You don't have to buy just one. That's all you need is one. Yeah, I know that's all I need, but I like, I don't know. If I could just buy one, I'm just going to buy one. You can buy just one if that's what you want. I mean, I think I might be able to buy just one, but I, I, I bro, the, the, the person who's, who's on the checkout is probably going to look at me a little weird. You know what I mean? They're probably going to look at me and be like, uh, you're buying one apple. Um, yeah, because typically I've never seen anyone buy just one, but yeah. Laid off after eight years. This is bad luck for Twitch IMO. This is really bad. Eight years, and he was here for four years on Twitch. And they both worked with Twitch rivals, and they both got laid off. So I think that they deem Twitch rivals to just not be worth it. 
So I think Twitch Rivals is going to start going downhill a little bit, right? I think it's going to start going downhill a bit. And uh, that's not good for Twitch, man. That is not good. Twitch is, is um, they, they are cutting costs heavily here. And uh, if they keep going in this direction, man, it's going to be really bad. I've never heard of Twitch Rivals. Wait, really? You've never heard of Twitch Rivals? That, that's a first. That's a first. Would include hunting the meal too? Uh, yes, indeed. Indeed. We'll go. We got to hunt the meal, surely. Uh, yuppie eating cake tomorrow. Nope. I'm not. We're not baking. We're not baking anything or anything like that. And we're not doing it to get where she's. At her house, I'm at my house too. So it's not like an IRL collab, which would be sick. But no, nah, we we are definitely not close enough to do that. Um, so yeah, back again. Hello, it's me and I'm back again. Uh, yo, what up, Zerch? What up, brother man? Welcome back, dude. Welcome back. Good to see you again. Good to see you again. Welcome back. Welcome back. What up? What up, bro? What up? What up, man? Um, but yeah. So, anyways, that right there is uh, a little bit of a of an update there. Um, what do you guys think? Would you like to see Kick Rivals or, or an event like that? Do you think it'd be awesome to, for Kick to pick up these guys who work with the Twitch Rivals? Um, I think it would personally be amazing. Um, because, uh, yes, they didn't. Uh, and the main thing here is that it's because they didn't, they don't really work on the other end. They work on the production side. They work on organizing these events to make them happen. Right. Which I think is really, really good. Um, and, and one of the greatest things, uh, but if it was somebody was like in like, you know, responsible for, you know, ads or revenue or whatever, like, okay, then maybe not. But, uh, it's the fact that these guys are just production, I think would be a great choice for kick.